One of the many headline features of the Rodecaster Pro 2 is that it finally allows to send out the monitoring output to Bluetooth speakers. And while it is not advertised widely, you can in fact use Bluetooth headphones to monitor your sound too. Including AirPods. This is especially convenient in online calls, where you'd want to use your nice quality microphones, but don't want the studio looks with the headphones on. There's two simple tricks to using your AirPods to listening to the call though. The first trick will help you to avoid one specific issue that is related to monitoring via Bluetooth, and this is the audio lag or delay, which is caused by the latency in the Bluetooth connection. In layman terms, latency is the time it takes for the audio to get from your computer over Bluetooth into your AirPods. And here's, and here's how it sounds, sounds right, out, right of out of the box. You are, you are hearing your hearing own your voice in the AirPods, in the AirPods with, a with a slight delay, delay, which is quite disturbing. Luckily, it is also quite easy to get rid of. The second trick comes into the play when you want to share your computer's sound in the call, which will not work in the usual way. But this is even more simple to solve. Let me show you how. But first things first, let's set things up. You'd want to connect the Rodecaster Pro 2 to your computer from the USB 1 port, and this will be important. The next thing you want to set up is the audio in your voice conferencing software. Let's take the example of Microsoft Teams. You'd go to Device Settings and select Rodecaster Pro 2 Chat as your audio input and output for Microsoft Teams. You'd select this as it has the Mix Minus applied automatically, which is essential in online calls, so that the other side of the call does not hear themselves echoed back. And that's why it's called chat, because it was meant to be used with remote calls. Of course, you can by now also set it up manually, but this works out of the box. So far, so good. And if you would want to use normal wired headphones, you'd be done with the setup. And at this point, it would work flawlessly. But if you want to cut the wire, ditch your bulky headphones, and use your AirPods instead, there's one more step to take. And here's what you need to do. First, take your AirPods, open the lid of the charging case and long press this small white button on the case to get into pairing mode, which is when it starts to blink white. Then on your Rodecaster Pro 2, you'd go to System, Bluetooth, search for audio devices. And there it is. Just tap on it and click Connect. And now, you are monitoring over AirPods. Easy as that? Well, almost. Because here comes the challenge. Due to the Bluetooth connection, you will experience some delay in the audio that you are hearing. And this would be annoying if you're gaming or if you want to edit a song or video, but it is totally okay for a team school. Except that there's one thing that is still very disturbing about that, and that is you are hearing your own voice as well with a little delay, which frankly makes talking in online calls impossible. Luckily, as of firmware 1.0.7, which came out in July 2022, you have something called custom routing for all your digital outputs. And this is exactly what we need now to get rid of your own voice echoing back to you in your AirPods. We'd go into the outputs menu, then into routing, which is where we can customize what audio channels the Rodecaster Pro 2 sends out to its digital outputs, and find the Bluetooth output. It is set to mix minus by default but we want to further customize it and be in full control of what's going out over Bluetooth. So let's step on custom. Here the Rodecaster Pro 2 lists below all the active input channels from which you can select which should be sent out via Bluetooth to your AirPods. My problem is that I also hear my own voice with a bit of delay. All I need to do now is to tap on the microphone input I am talking into. In my case, it is mic one. And now I don't hear myself back as the Rodecaster Pro 2 won't send the Mic 1 input out over Bluetooth anymore. Problem solved, and this was trick one. The slight downside is that I can't monitor myself, but that's a price I'm ready to pay for the convenience of using AirPods, or any other Bluetooth earpod for that matter. Before we get into trick two, let me know in the comments if you liked this video so far, and if you did, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. Trick two is needed, if you'd want to share the computer sound as well in the call, like you'd want to show a video or play some background music from your computer. If you want to do it the traditional way, you'd click on share and you'd try to toggle the include computer sound button, but for some reason it does not work. The reason it does not work is that we have set Rodecaster Pro to chat 
as our audio input and output. And it automatically applies the mix minus, so it will not let the computer sound go back from the Rodecaster Pro 2 into the computer. Cache 22, right? We have to use the USB chat so that the voice chats work, but we can't use it to route the computer sound back into the call as well. And your laptop will not be able to change custom routing on the Rodecaster Pro 2. The good news is that the solution is a lot more simple than that. Because your Microsoft Teams audio is independent from your computer sound settings, just go to your sound settings on the computer and select Rodecaster Pro 2 Main as your computer system's audio output, which is the standard USB 1 channel on the Rodecaster Pro 2. Then let me show you something on the Rodecaster Pro 2. Actually, we won't need to change anything in the settings, I'm just showing it to you that in the outputs menu, under routing, if we switch to the USB 1 chat output, which is feeding Microsoft Teams, this is called Roadcaster Pro 2 chat on your computer, we can see all the channels that are sent out through the USB 1 chat output, and as you can see, the standard USB 1 channel, which is called the Roadcaster Pro 2 main on your computer, and which you have just set as the general sound output of it, is also included there. So any sound source that you set to USB 1 main will go into the USB 1 chat channel. And because your Rodecaster Pro 2 can even have its own fader assigned to control USB 1 mains volume, you don't even have to toggle any settings within themes. All you need to do is to push up the fader and because the USB 1 channel, which is your computer's sound output, is included in the USB 1 chat output, which in turn is what's feeding the Microsoft Teams with audio, therefore the Rodecaster Pro 2 will just play it in your call perfectly and you can conveniently control it with a dedicated fader. Could not be more simple once you understand how it works. And this is why it's important to connect the computer to USB 1, as it has two dedicated input and output channels on the Rodecaster Pro 2, the main and the chat. You'd want to use the USB 1 main for the general computer sound and the USB 1 chat for the voice conferencing app of your choice. And that's how you use your AirPods with the Rodecaster Pro 2 in online calls. But if you want to understand in 10 minutes how USB mix minus and custom routing work, just click on this video. I hope you enjoyed this one though, and bye for now.